Hello, welcome back to the Outer World. My name is Spange. We're picking up right where we left off. Um, I need to. Well, I'm looking at this one. We spoke to this old lady last time about these medicines for Nyoka, and uh, we need to search Dr. Williams's body up in the graveyard, which is fun, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, we've got a whole bunch of quests to get through today. We are in Stella Bay. We're in Monarch. Now, the interesting thing about Monarch is that um, everyone was saying, or well, everybody on the board was saying, ah, oh, crap. Place. What do you think you're doing? No, they got all. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? <laughs> um, what was I saying? God damn it. Let's see box. I loot. <laughs> loot every day. Um, everybody on the board was saying that Monarch was some kind of dreadful, awful wasteland and we shouldn't go there because there's monsters that will kill us and will die and 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 other reasons not to go here but in actual fact it's just a colony that have broken away from the board and are doing fine uh because of the space pirates the legally sanctioned space pirates are running them supplies for well you know an increased price so anyway this person here looks like they're having a terrible terrible time let's talk to her Thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Okay. You have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know. A All right, calm down. Don't you tell me to calm okay, down. Okay, fine. I'll walk off. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? Why did he run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, <sighs> won't you go and find my boy? Why would he run away? He's been pining for an adventure, said he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls, but he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. Mm -hmm. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know once ripped his arm off and is gnawing out of his sweet little fingers. Oh my lord. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. <sighs> Where would he have gone? Listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a manta queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails. Where's Amber Heights? Settlement, southwest of Stellar Fine. Bay. Fine. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road. As ah. <laughs> or, or maybe marauders got him. Pulled all his teeth out. Okay. Uh, uh, fine. Shut up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. God, okay. You look for him in Amber Heights. You hear? It's okay. Southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Well, why are you and freaking the out the the then? Are you? Indoctrinating my boy. Oh Jesus! You punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. I'm gonna guess that this guy is like mid thirties, full adult kind of, and you're just batshit crazy, Agnes. Don't sit there looking at me like some crazy person. What are you looking at? You want to fight? I'll fight you. I'll get a vicar to fight you. Vicar's fucking savage. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's ignore that for a second and go <laughs> dig a graveyard. <laughs> oh dear. 200 meters away? Alright, fine. I've forgotten what weapons I have. I have a shotgun, an assault rifle. Ah yes, me old... Uh... Well, technically this is an assault rifle. This ride is about to get ugly. Nah, it'll be fine, mate. Gotta go exploring. I wanna see some savages. Some savages, you've got big old raptodon colossi, maulers and stuff like that, but we can we can avoid those by just taking a right. And avoiding town. And scooting around the back. I'm usually one to shy away from a fight or anything, but uh yeah, you know, I just want to get through these these missions really. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. 
Exploring some ruins, killing some monsters. All we're missing is theme music. <laughs> I'll contact Disney, see if we can use the Mandalorian theme music. That would be awesome. Oh, hi. Nice work. Ah, the dispensary supply room cartridge. Excellent. Marvellous. What else we got around here? Anything fun? <laughs> what was this again? Oh yeah, the flamethrower. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I think we just drop back down here. Ah! Yeah, I'm alright. So I've got a special talent about falling from high surfaces now. <laughs> all this stuff just lying around. Nobody's taking it. There's no light in here whatsoever. <laughs> it's so dark. Oh, nearly got spotted. All good. All good. Still safe, still safe. Let's get back to town. Actually, what am I doing? I can just fast travel. Okay. Now that we've got that, we should be able to just unlock the... Um, I think we've got a workbench back there. Nice. We should be able to just unlock the supply cupboard. Oh, stand by, ladies and gentlemen. We've got... I think I'm going to be sick. Pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Oh, okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Contemplate a hot shower. Right. Vending machine! Hold and sell junk! Great. Oh. Murder. Hey, is this the part where we go hunting for clues? <laughs> what a Jeez. To die. Yeah, he looked like he got beaten to crap. You know, steal all this stuff though. Take that. Take that. Wait, is this a crime scene? Is this allowed? <laughs> well, he's not going to use it anymore, is he? Especially these little hacking devices. I feel like I'm going to be implicated in this murder now. <laughs> ah. This betting slip lists some incredibly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists, and it's from left field tossball betting. Cool. Uh, so he made a big, big gamble, uh, couldn't pay, and thusly got killed. Several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and colour, were stuffed into this suitcase. Would you look at that, boys? I just leveled up for opening a suitcase. Pretty good. Okay. Let's get my... I have no idea still. I mean... <laughs> Let's get tech up. There we go. Maxed out the tech. Job's good. And... Moving on. Well, there's a grand total of nothing in here. Right, so... Braxton has shown up for work in a couple of days, so Velma's putting extra shifts. She has to go to his apartment and send him back to the Saltuna fishery. Is this Bra Braxton that I've just found, though? A man's been killed in Stella Bay. It falls, it falls to you to figure out what happened to him. Why? Investigate left field tossball betting. The victim had a betting slip from left field tossball betting. Perhaps someone there knows what, to happen, what happened to him. I guess that's a shop somewhere around here, is it? Okay, well, um, let's, let's try and stick to one thing at a time. We're going to stick to... Fashion pills, so that we can get Neo or wherever Chops is, to take us through this area without getting mauled to death by every single thing on the way. Right, so the storeroom's upstairs, which I think we need to go up these stairs, and then in here, and then in here, and then 
And we could steal some ammo and some speed grip. And some capnoid. And everything else, because I'm just a thief. Okay. Oh, what we got here? Employee login. Hack. Login Williams. Nice. Patient records. Please enter name. Yoka. Cavanoid allotment standard. Medical engineer notes. Liver damage, like the result of prolonged alcoholism. Attitude problems, like the result of prolonged alcoholism. Frequent social withdrawal, like the result of prolonged alcoholism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Data storage. William E. Notes from experiments conducted. Reaction plus pep you up. Bushberry extract. Olostron, triple dosage. File MD. After my previous experience, I theorized that the, the, the deadening of the external senses might allow the mind's eye to glimpse the eternal. Alas, I was only partially successful. The combination of substances quickly rendered me both blind and feeble. <laughs> I fell into a stupor. Woke some hours later in a pile of my own sick and a most curious craving for <laughs> Tyleritos. I suppose that's like Doritos. I uh, had hypothesized that this combination might awaken my mind and senses to greater realities around us. If that is true, then it seems my faculties were quite overwhelmed in this instance. Shortly after the dosage, I experienced cold sweats, tremors, mild paranoia. Uh, it is perhaps due to the latter effects that most of my notes from the episode are of little use. Nonetheless, the effects were most invigorating. I will have to attempt a milder dosage once heart palpitations subside. <laughs> Basically, the guy was a freaking druggie. Awesome. What we got? Nothing. I can steal that though. Nothing in there. Remember on! Let's take it, this just goes downstairs. Hi. <laughs> I've not been doing anything underwater, don't worry. Okay. Uh, do I want to give this stuff to her already? Um, because then that's going to progress the main quest, which is to go to Devil's Peak. Well, let's see what happens. Hi. Back. Good news? Bad news? You're drunk. All of the above? Um. More or less dangerous yeah. than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh. Oh, no. There it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Uh, not <laughs> glad to have you. Great, where to? Let's find the information broken. I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. You're more of a spelunker. Rotting River will take you into the mountain cavern. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you've got a spot open. Let's. I gotta send. I gotta send Vicar back. I don't know. He's very good with melee. Uh. Let's send the Vicar back. As long as you've got my back, I'll have yours. Welcome to the unreliable crew. Great. So, Yoka. What's the ugliest thing you ever killed? Oh, I still have nightmares about this one. Fiercest, most foul creature I've ever faced. Just shy of seven feet tall. Breath like a sulfur pool. A little slow, but strong as a mountain. If I recall, his name was George Gregory. I don't know. Some G name. He and a band of pirates tried to ambush me and mine on the trail once. Wait. You're talking about a person? Yeah, poor guy. I think my bullets did his face a favor. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so we can carry on with all our rest of our side quests around here, and then we'll carry on with the main quest. So the left field betting ring thing that we think is maybe involved in the murder of that chap. Yo. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss spell games. Really not. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. 
<laughs> Who has time to watch grown men and women hit balls with sticks? <laughs> I'm not here to chat. That's a shame. Tossball's just about <clears throat> the only good news we get around here. When our frequency's not too pogged up, anyway. You get to listen to games all day? Stellar Bay really is a paradise. It's pretty swell, but it's a whole lot better with company. Say, I don't think I've seen you before, and I'd remember that face. Oh god. I'll try not to be a stranger then. My name's Felix, by the way. I'm gonna listen quietly. You should stop by more often. The games are always better when you've got someone to celebrate with. Sounds like a good time. I wouldn't mind bringing a couple drinks and settling in for the pennant match. Look at me getting carried away again. So, what yes, can I do? Yes, you are. Um, so I have found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? You said you were having trouble receiving the tossball games. Let's go with the first one. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow. Even if he did have terrible teeth. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. Mm -hmm. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Right, okay. Sounds fairly promising. Hmm. Let's go and see these bullies then. See what they make of a flamethrower. <laughs> are they down here? Yeah, here we go. Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. What are you, 12? Berta already pissed by those crates to market. <laughs> Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. Well, you just literally admitted Not that it. It's any of your business. Uh, I'm gonna intimidate. Oh, I can't. I need 55 for my intimidate. God damn. Uh, wrong answer. Ow. Felix, did you just get knocked the f out? Unbelievable. Sublight salvage and shipping reputation decreased. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, wasn't really anything I could do well, other than just walk away. Ah, they had it coming, didn't they? The swines. Just murdered five people with a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like you could use a bit of healing. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, how the hell do you get out of this place? Right, through here. Let's uh, holster that. Nothing to see here, guards. Absolutely nothing at all. Right. Is that does that go into completed or botch? No, that's that's completed apparently. <laughs> Tell Sanja about Isaac's murder. All right. Let's do it. Hi. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Oh, gross. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. <laughs> no, you have a meeting with me. <laughs> you hear that power play, Celia? <laughs> don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. <laughs> <laughs> what business brings you here? Um, I'm looking for information on the broker. I'm chatting, chatting my own path, going where the winds take me. What a charming notion. Mm -hmm. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Halcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. 
If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat fuck colony, I'm going to stab someone. <laughs> uh, hey, it could always be both. Um, I'm afraid not. All a shame. I've been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Mm -hmm. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. If you're free of other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? But yeah, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? So-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. That's the board's way. Doesn't matter if you're Monarch or the Groundbreaker. If the board can't control you, they'll find a way to punish you. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. What? Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? Yeah, you tell it, Felix. Monarch's a free planet, Felix. It's also fucked. I ain't a fan of the folks on the board, but if they could be wrangled to rebuild our roads, I'd welcome the help. Your friend makes a good point, young man. I used to be young and idealistic too, but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. So what do you mean to do about it? <laughs> That's a coward's answer. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. Well, we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. No, she doesn't. She's got some weird crush on some quiet person. <laughs> Enough preamble. What's the plan? Two pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. <laughs> How long did it take you to figure out you need to defend your city? <laughs> Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. This bolt sounds useful. What is it? I know what a bolt 52 is. It's, it's a gun, isn't it? I guess. Right, let's ask what it is. One of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Hmm. I was starting to get bored listening to you. Until you said the phrase, extremely powerful ordinance. Alright, Felix, it pipe down. Quite the rush. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Hmm, I see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Good. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, so selling that to uh, more, uh, Gladys. Before I go, I need to ask what you something. For you? Um, I met Grim. No, I have questions about MSI. Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? I take care. I killed that the dead. means we won't be able to log their testimonies. Nope. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Maybe I could have gotten their statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Well, I'd agree. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Um, I met Grim the landing pad guard. Let's see. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? That <laughs> guy's a world class moron. <laughs> he did a bang up well, job. That's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. Great. What else can I do for you? I'm looking for information on the broken. Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. Okay, I've got to go. Cheers then. Uh, right. 
this is going well so let's organize again by location region thank you for pointing that out by the way <laughs> uh, okay cool so radio free monarchs on main which is going to devil's peak this is go to oh well, that's something else isn't it the arms building that's somewhere else we'll find it family matter look for tucker need him in amber heights convince Caleb to return to work. Let's convince Caleb to return to work because that's in the town. That's literally just here, upstairs of of the inn. Yeah. If this is an inn, pub, whatever you want to call it. Caleb, better work, you dickhead. Face, huh? You from off world? Yeah, Spanish are great. Captain. Well, I'll be here. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, thanks. Consider an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? Uh, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Sanjo's going to fire Velma if you don't return to work. How long can you afford to miss work? Any suggestions of how to put pressure on Velma's to negotiate? Velma's threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Well, let's 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 see. If, yeah, number four. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna use my lie. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Good job. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. Yay! <laughs> Success! Lies for the win. Um... Inform Velma, the situation is resolved. Velma. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Lovely. You're spatting your spirits, Velma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. <laughs> Try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition. Anyway. Let's talk about Caleb. Any sense into him yet? I told him you were about to lose your job. He said he'd come back. Well, that's awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Thanks. Honest work deserves honest pay. It was anything but honest. Something else on your mind? No, bye. <laughs> right. Find that goon. Um, go to... Braxton's apartment. Let's find out where Braxton is. Is that even 108 meters? Yeah, that's over there as well. Let's get all these towny ones done before we go out and start shooting the crap out of everything, yeah? Yo! Oh, you're, you're not Braxton. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? I'm looking for Braxton. Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Relax, no one's in trouble. I'm just looking to have a friendly chat with him. Why are you acting so paranoid? You've been taking drugs. <laughs> she looks, she looks well trippy. <laughs> let's get, let's go and persuade rather than confront. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. Mm -hmm. So maybe look for him there. That's what I needed. You know what I think? This Braxton fella threw away the trappings of society. And joined a pack of wild raptodons. I don't know why you're here. Literally. I know, right? <laughs> Amazing. Right. What well, what a pair of companions I've got today. Isn't it? The, the drunk and the bloody schoolboy. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. Well, that's out of town now. Uh, retrieve missing Pasco. Lila hasn't heard from her agent in Stella Bay recently retrieve the information he's holding on the salvage location and deliver it to Catherine Mallon in Fallbrook. Is that in town? 100 meters that way. Yes it is. Oh he did. How do I find that that bloody note? Where's that to? Um, take the passcode you found in the sublet agent body to Catherine and Fallbrook. She'll provide details on how to salvage the Alta Vita gas. Oh, I've, I've only just noticed as well. I've still got 
skills and perks to 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 dally out dilly dally dilly dally out well what is this transition to stellar bay ruins south oh wait wasn't that in one of the missions to go to the ruins in the south and something like that ambites search the house perhaps you can find him an indication where he might be south of stellar bay that's not the ruins south though is it ask special and date <laughs> oh fine let's let's go and be uh, a dating agency next right uh that one's over there somewhere right here we go this is nice isn't it how do they do that look at that that's cool water tower thing oh sebastian it's this guy hello stranger can i interest you in a raptodon tongue or maybe some canid toenails no you look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts really sebastian you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. I must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rat glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Why would I want any of that? Let's talk about Celia. Oh, I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rafted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. She likes you. Nice of you to say. I like her too. No, I mean, she really likes you. And I gotta admire anyone with her passion for canid hides. But you don't have to butter me up. Since you've got so much in common, maybe you should take her, uh, let her take you out. You're an idiot. I'm trying to tell you she wants to date you. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount. <laughs> hmm? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real... But if I give her one, I won't really make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for rafted on tongues. <laughs> oh dear. Persuade. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. Great. That's, that's someplace nice. Alright, well, it's great to be a matchmaker. I, I really... Oh, I'll give Celia a yeah, Fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you talked to Sebastian yet? He said I'll go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Oh, shut or up. Like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like... Yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more... Sure, I don't have anything else going on. <laughs> All I know is if you act crazy, you'll send him running. Look, you've got a chance. Have fun and don't overthink it. Oh, I will. Now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how Great. I'm fixing my hair. Or maybe I should go with a casual look. Yeah, there's there's not overthinking oh, it. Look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things. I really do. Zombies giving me that back to work look. Uh -huh. Anyhow, thank you. No worries. You're perfect for each other, I guess. Right. <laughs> Radio Free Monarch, Family Matters. Um, let's have a look at each where each one is on the map a second. So Radio Free Monarch is um, over here. Great. Family Matter is over here as well. Wait, I didn't select it. Family Matter is over there. Right, okay. A little out of the way. Secret People is just here good space crime continuum love that is all the way over there and the bolt with the name wait that's like right here get into the bolt arm bit optional wipe any terminal Can we talk? oh fine hey, got a favor to ask you of course you do figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow we might stop in on an old friend of mine preferably before we get to Hiram's it's on the way don't worry mm-hmm you don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Just get on with it, Nuyuka. Hey, it ain't easy for me to spill my guts like a cut-up raft, all right? It's not really spilling your guts, though, is it? You. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. Mm-hmm. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. What kind of danger are we talking Nothing about? I can't, we can't handle Let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. 
Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. How do you know they're dead? I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. Oof. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him away from our encampment. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Where's home? A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Mm. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. We're going to have to kill a mana queen. Sounds like fun. I don't really worry about killing a mana queen. We'll kill a mana queen. Okay, let's go. 108 meters that way. Wait, am I on still on the bolt? Yep. Cool. These raptors are all melee. Well, some of them spit, I guess, but they're mostly melee creatures. So I'm going to equip the shotgun. And um, let's see if we can do maybe a little bit of kicking a raptor to the face. That's hilarious. <laughs> nice. Well, stop getting burnt then. Die, you stupid raptor. You guys took an awful lot of damage, didn't you? Yeah, I'm fine. You guys are like sucking a bit there, really. <laughs> Do you need a heal? I don't know if I can heal them. Like, I suppose I need to bring Doctor Lady with me. So her special ability is healing, maybe. Let's get a bit of firepower going on here. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's not dead. That one's dead. Oh, he's a, he's a big boy. I like that. It's funny. <laughs> Felix is dead again. Ah, oh, you're all dead, are you? Uh, get back up. What's wrong with you? Oh dear, right, I need to figure out what is my medical set to. I've got an extra slot now, so I can equip more stuff that's going to help me shoot better or something. I don't know. Okay, I think that'll, that's probably quite good. Plus 200% natural health regeneration and plus one to body attributes for a minute as well. Well, we'll see, won't we? Right, where's my quest marker? It's here, arm storage. This building right here. Oh, we got another dude right here. Hang on. He did. Blammo. Oh, there's more. Score one for Felix. Yeah, yeah, you did loads. Well done, everybody. Top job. Did well. I can hack that. Let's go. No messing. I'll take all of this. I'll take that. Loot everything. All of it. All of it. All of it. Lovely. Right, what we got? View executive reviews. Uh, loading last assessed document. Accessing. Um, continue. Sanja has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics, not very good with slogans, jingles, and or taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal and funny references. <laughs> Sanja also displays a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegating it, a trend unbecoming in upper management. 
All in all, Sanjo's work habits suggest a preoccupation with detail and a startling lack of vision. We cannot recommend him for further advancement. Needs improvement in following areas. Interpersonal communication, brevity, delegation, idea generation. Oh dear. And where he's getting his ideas from then. Loot it all! Alright, let's have a look upstairs then. Uh, that seems to be the only way to go. More bit cartridges everywhere. Hack that, hack that. Take that. There's plenty of loot here anyway, isn't there? <laughs> Alright, we've got another... I don't think <laughs> like snow like a rat did on her. Who are you? Oh, thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux if you're lazy. I'm stuck. Right. My friends and I were scavenging here and a Mad Queen showed up. Just kill it. It was a void blasted mess. Right. I ran in here and um now the door's locked. Little help? I I need to get in that room. Lovely. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Seeing as a trap, you might as well answer a few things for me. Uh, there must be a way to open this from the inside. What do you mean? It's locked. Uh, right, but okay, let's try the handle. Turn it upward. <laughs> Wait, upward? Yeah. Oh, my eternal soul, it worked! Jesus Christ. <laughs> It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. You're now tough. I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm. Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Uh, normally when you help someone, they give you something for their trouble. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> With the trouble you caused, you're dying here. <laughs> I love how you just killed them. What the hell, man? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy. And hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just beat it. Uh, good luck. Thanks a lot, Mister. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Get out of here! Right. Um, obtain bolt 52. Good stuff. Another flamethrower. Lovely. I'll be over encumbered soon, I'm, I'm guessing. Alright. So the optional part of this mission was to wipe any terminal in the building. Um, it was less than flattering. <laughs> Which we read, of course. Uh, we didn't wipe it, though. I don't know whether we should or not, really. I suppose it doesn't really matter if we do, because it's not that important, to be honest. Nice. Good pathfinding there, darling. So we've got... Yeah. Brian. Hack. Spoof the login credentials. Graham's understanding of product messaging and branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low-level editor. His has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines. However, Graham has issues with brevity, shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats. Some of his work has been flagged for subversive undertones. Recommend further supervision. Dora. Dora shows a real knack for brief but compelling presentations supported by catchy slogans. Her delegation skills are also top-notch. She can build a lengthy meeting around any tom topic and emerge with plenty of work assigned recommended for promotion. Dora, huh? And Dora. Okay. Um, well, I don't want to delete all. I just want to delete Sanjars. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to delete them at all. It's only optional. I'm going to let them speak for themselves. Congratulations. Oh! That was fun. <laughs> just dematerialized. Uh, okay. Well, what have we got then? We've got return... Return to Sanjar with a bolt. 
Take the passcode you found on the sublight to Catherine in Fallbrook. She'll provide details on how to salvage the altered gas. Make a delivery to the house Stella Bay. Perhaps you can find him in an indication where he has gone next. Okay, well, I guess let's just work our way up. Um, Catherine in Fallbrook. Fallbrook is all the way down there. There's got to be something closer, right? Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty closer. That's very closer. Right, let's do that. Secret people. Let's go, kids! Ah, there he is. That sounds nice over there. Light screaming. Excellent. More wraps. Oh, he's a big boy. Don't miss. Put the best. Well done, everybody. Well done. peaceful in here. Look, they've got some board games going on and everything. Very good. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Please, come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. Hmm. <laughs> We're armed with teeth. What's he gonna do? Kill us with generosity? That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. I'm looking for a man named Braxton. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why hmm. don't you stay for dinner? Are you sure you haven't seen Braxton? I heard he was delivering medicine for you. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. I'm gonna guess dinner is Something Braxton. Right about this. Dinner is Braxton. Hmm. Lizzie Mather. Everything seems fairly normal. Fine. Lots of hacking things. Random hand thing. Puzzle. Um. Good. Hi. Don't mind me. Just having a look around your house. Everything's perfectly normal. Nothing to worry about. Well, that looks insidious. Yep. Okie dokie. Yeah, we want to close this door then, chaps, really. Because that in there, I think, is where Braxton met his untimely end. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have nightmares about this. A sulfur sodden asshole. Ain't enough that the rapsy. If lost, please return to Velma or current supervisor of FMSI Fishery Operations in Stella Bay. <laughs> Now people are doing it too. Pick up supper time. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Right, well, um it's flamethrower time, people. It is flamethrower time. Oh, where's the daughter gone? Time to steal everything we see. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Take everything. <laughs> We're gonna have a fight on our hands, guys. You may as well stock up. What we got? Unlock that. Oh, we can get out it this way. We can avoid a fight. Do we want to leave the cannibals? To, uh... Hi. <laughs> but what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Ah. Oh, dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Murdering cannibals accuse me of being nosy. Quickly, my dear. He's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Oh, dear. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Will you? Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, Felix, you just seem to die a lot. I need to get you some better armor. <laughs> Lovely! Well, this was fun, but we must really be going. Uh, <laughs> whenever you've got some cannibals to kill, let's go out on the balcony, actually, because I think that might lead somewhere else. I was hoping it might lead to more loot. But it really doesn't look like it. Hang on, hang on, we've got to do some parkour. Parkour! Oh, I nailed it. Oh, crap, didn't nail it. Ah! Uh -huh. Hey, you guys, do you want to come down and join me? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> speak to Velma at the fishery. Fine. Uh, look for Tuck and in Amber Heights. And that is that one over there. We've got a bit of a trek ahead of us. Which is probably going to involve a lot, killing a lot of raptors and stuff. So I guess we should probably crack on. I don't know whether to follow the road is best or to go via the wilderness. A straight line across this. Because that road is like way. Um, we could just head that way. I just don't Careful. know. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Oh, yeah. Or both. Or both. There's a church here, though. Stay out of sight. All right, these raps have got nothing on us. We are the bad boys. Look at that big boy. Ah, oh, crap. Oh boy. You're a big old boy, aren't you? Still, got it. Still dead. Is there like anything good in these things? Wrapped and on hide. I'll take it. Bit cartridges. Oh. Lots of hacky things. Hey, dude. Hmm? Nice hat. Love it. The vermin. Lovely. I want that hat. <clears throat> All right, I think we're done here. Let's move on. I can do this all day. Got it, boss. Don't just stink. I'll take a toe off. Oh yeah, I know. Lovely. Let's actually check our inventory because I think we picked up some pretty cool stuff. Got another flamethrower. My flamethrower 551. That's the same. 183. 960 DPS on that light machine gun. Wow, level 18. Can we give that to Nyoka? Because she's got a light machine gun with only 656. And Felix has got one at 320. I think we can give you that one, man, buddy. Yikes. Have that, sunshine. We got uh, 69 DPS, 180, 346. That's pro toss ball stick, 412 on that melee. Jobs are good and picked up a few bits of armor. <laughs> Leadership skills plus seven persuade because you've got a nice hat. <laughs> so at the moment, he's got a level 16 heavy armor. Yeah, not picking up much armor at the moment, so we'll just have to keep an eye out for more, I guess.
Right. Let's press on then, guys. More. Can we cut across there? Oh, this guy lost its lost his head. Oh, hi. I really did not notice them. Stand troop armor. Jesus, this guy's got a lot of health. Well, I think so. That took. That, he just took a lot of killing. Retrofitted power armor as well. A hunting rifle, Jesus. That is old gear. Where's the other one gone? Um, don't know. Never mind. Isn't there something here? I don't think there was. We can come back. Let's move on. Monarch is quite big compared to the other areas we've been to. I think this is definitely the biggest area. Oh, hello. We've got bad guys right here. Look. <laughs> I've never, I've never lockpicked someone before. That's amazing. Uh, I don't have a melee weapon, otherwise that would be quite good. Um, well, I could very easily just equip a melee weapon here. Old supper time in place of. A sniper rifle. <laughs> I forgot how fun melee stuff was actually. <laughs> I locked picked him already, he had nothing on him. <laughs> I took it all away. <laughs> Sneak. 100. Love it. Well, we're nearly there. Here we go. Oh. Well, you don't look like a cult at all. Yep. Not a cult. <laughs> well, hello. Oh, hi. And welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. Brilliant. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. <laughs> I don't want a pamphlet. Just tell me who you are. The paper they use makes excellent kindling, you know. If they ever get more, you ought to grab some. Thanks. What? Nioka? That's why you wanted so many? You said you were just spreading the word. While you keep rude company, you're welcome all the same. We're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. <laughs> and here I thought everyone works for the corporation. No corporations mean no paycheck. How will you survive without money? No problems. What about Raptor on the Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. <laughs> we deal hurdles. with them as they come. Okay. You're welcome to stay with us so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, great! One big family, family family, one big happy family, huh? Um. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Great. Okay. Woo. Well, Amber Heights, everybody. Welcome, I guess. This is... <laughs> I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Okay. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Well, well this place wasn't half so pretty. Rightfully so, I guess. Nice that they got a vending machine, yet they don't earn any money or anything. But, um, yeah, good on them. Good on them. Seems like a nice little settlement, but we'll see. Because I wonder if there's going to be a little, uh, I don't know, little civil war between all the different parties here. The Iconoclast, the MSI, and the other guys. I can't remember the name of them now, but, um, you know, the guy up at Devil's Peak and stuff like that. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but anyway, we've run out of time today. 
and we're gonna we're gonna pause here until the next episode so yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye